So this video is going to um, highlight how you reduce risk by combining two stocks. So we have Martin, which we had as a, an example on the previous page of the same spreadsheet right here. And the information is now transferred over here. So we had the, the different probabilities of the economy, the return. And then we have another company now, Anderson. And it's been established that the correlation coefficient between the two companies is 0.21. So not highly correlated. Uh, the higher you get to one, uh, the more highly co uh, correlated they are. And of course, approaching zero, there would be zero correlation. So we take a look at the returns for Anderson. So if we come across here and we take a look at Anderson, uh, we still have the same potential states of the economy, but these are the different returns than you would have for Anderson. So as we did before, the probability times the return, so 0.2 times 104% uh, gives us 0.208. We do that for all three states of the economy and add them together, and the 0.15 then is the uh, expected uh, return for that stock. So 15%, the same thing we found with uh, U.S. Electric, Martin, and now Anderson. Um, so then we do uh, the rest of the analysis so we can find the standard deviation. So the deviation again is found first by taking uh, the expected return of 104% less the uh, overall expected return of 15% gives us 89, negative 41 minus 15 gives us negative 56, etc. Then we take that and we raise it to the power of 2 or we square it. And then we Again, take it times the probabilities. So 0.7921 times 0.2 gives us 0.15842. We do that for all three states of the economy. We add them up, and this number 0.3499 represents the variance on Anderson. And then we find the square root to find the standard deviation. So when we take a look then at going back here and combining these two companies that are very similar, um, each of them have a re expected return of 15%. And their standard deviation is very close at 59%. So if we want to analyze them, what happens when they're in a portfolio? We take 50% of the return for Martin and Anderson. So this cell represents 50% of the 110% plus 50% of the 104%. And combined, that's 107%. And then we do the same thing for a normal economy in a recession. And then that gives us now um, this expected return of 92%. We do the deviation the same way we did before, 107% minus 15 gives us 0.92. We take it and we square it like we did before, multiply times the probability, and we get the variance and then the standard deviation. So with the same expected uh, kind of return or even a higher return, we reduce the amount of risk that we take. So this is the way that we uh, determine the the risk of the portfolio.